The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus are now available on every single major carrier here in the US. In front of me, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus for Verizon Wireless, and I'm going to unbox both of them at the same time here on PhoneDog.com. Why watch a single unboxing when you can watch a double unboxing, right? All right, now just to refresh your memory, both of these two devices are the latest and greatest flagship smartphones from Samsung. Obviously, on the left-hand side, we have the Note 5, and on the right-hand side, we have the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. I'm going to set these two devices off to the side for now just to see what lies underneath and to see what each device includes in the box. Underneath each device, we have a Get Started Packet for Verizon, which will help you set up your device and get it up and running. And yes, while the SIM card ejector tool was displaced in my Note 5 box, both devices do in fact include a SIM card ejector tool. But this is where things kind of get interesting. First of all, both devices include an adaptive, fast charging wall wart. Both devices include a standard micro USB charging cable for charging, but both devices do not include earphones. The Galaxy S6 Edge Plus does include earphones with cushioned tips that should help ultimately make them fit better in your ear. The Note 5 simply does not include earphones, so you pay more for the Edge and you get more in the box. With that said, the Note 5 does include additional S Pen tips and an S Pen tip removal tool, but that's everything included in both of these two boxes. Now the internals of each device are basically the same. We have a Samsung Exynos 7420 processor powering both of these devices that's included with 4GB of RAM, a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display with a 2560 by 1440 resolution, a 16 megapixel camera sensor with optical image stabilization, and they both do run TouchWiz on top of Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. Most of the differences take place with the hardware, but there are some software changes that we will cover. On the left hand side of each device, we have volume up and down controls. On the right hand side, we have the power sleep on off button. Up top, we have a SIM card slot and some antenna lines and a mic here as well. And on the bottom, we have more antenna lines. The 3.5mm headphone jack, micro USB port, and speaker grill all lie right here. But the Note 5 features the iconic S Pen, so yes it's still here, of course it's still here. This is a Note device. It's been improved over the previous Note 4, so the top pops up with a click and we have some several new software features beyond the previous S Pen features like Action Memo, Smart Select, Screen Write, and S Note. You can now immediately take notes on your Note 5 after rejecting the S Pen. No need to tap or open anything up, you can just start writing. Now on the front of each device, we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera sensor with ambient light sensors the 5.7 inch Super AMOLED QHD display that I mentioned earlier, as well as some capacitive touch navigation buttons for the multitasking, home, and back commands. The S6 Edge Plus features a display with curved edges, hence the name of course. You can not only view contacts from a swipe to the left, but you can also add shortcuts to your favorite apps, and you can customize the apps of course, as well as the positioning. I think it's really important to note the curve of both devices. So the Note 5 features tapered edges, but they're actually on the back. The back glass cover curves to fit the natural curve of your hand, and it feels better in the hand than the S6 Edge Plus in my personal opinion. However, in my opinion, the S6 Edge Plus looks better with the curve as it's more futuristic and really more noticeable to your eyes. You will also note the thickness of each device. The Note 5 measures in at 7.6 millimeters thick, and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus measures in at 6.9 millimeters thick. On the back of each device, we have a 16 megapixel camera sensor with optical image stabilization and the classic heart rate monitor with a flash there as well. There's a Verizon 4G LTE logo on the back, where it should be. Thankfully, it's not on the front of this device. That would not be any good. And then, of course, we have some Samsung and FCC branding. So there you have it, the double unboxing and comparison of the Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and Verizon Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Let me know which device you prefer. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know down below in a comment. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help show your support. Maybe hit that subscribe button as well if you're brand new. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.